Group 3 Project. Sponsored by the History Channel. Before it turns stupid. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh man, we're gonna have to learn about more men with wigs who probably were rappers at one time. I don't know. But no, we're delving into some manly songs. Perhaps our most manly song yet. Media Vita, most important part of the absolutely necessary combined efforts between bass and tenors. While listening to the recordings, it seems the women are included for us guys to be gentlemen. But for us to perform the song, we have to put our full emotions into the performance. For me, I like to imagine the beginnings of a battle with both battlers knowing major losses will ensue. For you, maybe you dropped a top or something, I don't know. The creation, but for us known as Awake the Harp, is a piece written between 1796 and 1798 by Joseph Haiti. It is considered to be his masterpiece. This song requires a four-part chor four chorus and a large classical orchestra. And part one, the one we're singing, celebrates the creation of primal light, the earth, the heavenly bodies, and of course, all life. Of course, it would only take a genius to figure this out. The actual history behind Awake the Harp is far more interesting than the actual song. The purpose of the song was to thank the heavens for all the beauty of the earth and thanking them as well for allowing them to experience it. Evidence of this can be seen with the high spirits of the chorus and the emphasis on altos and sopranos while the bass and tenors are there only for our sheer manliness. However, my favorite part of the song is when it's over. Music is like a roller coaster. When you see all the twists and turns safely implemented, you're like, wow, this is amazing. However, when you see that the ride has not had maintenance for quite a while and there are bumps and things everywhere, you can't help but not go, oh hell no. You know how much I spent to go here? Up to $100. Do you know how many hours I have to work to do that? You know what? Forget you. Is the Book of Mormon around here? The first recording of Hanapa Cha performed by Leon Tronf and conducted by Jose is the perfect example of correct pitching, timing, and great dynamic contrast, which all plays into one beautiful piece and it is enough to make a man cry. On the other less manicured hand is the Cathedral's Notre Dame version. I'm not saying they are bad, but if they were a daycare center, I wouldn't trust my kids with them. The basses are too loud, the cutoffs are not together, the sound is poor and unbalanced. Side note, did you know Hanapa Chop is a chant? Could you imagine we start seeing it and then we start seeing the world like going crazy? You may have found the research I did here to be interesting, which is why I think it is very important to know what we're singing, otherwise you may fall behind. What about Vivane? Get out! Get out! <laughs> no way. <laughs>